It continues to be surreal here. It's now been more than eight hours since this tragic event, but things are just so different than what they should normally be. Let's take a look off to my left here. After those explosions, they basically cleared this scene with about 40 minutes. They got every single person, runner and spectator, off of Boylston Street. As you can see, it is just desolate tonight. Let's talk again about those explosions. We were about a block and a half away when they happened. It was just before 3 o'clock, a little more than four hours into the marathon, and that means a large uh, amount of that field of runners was at that point making their way to the finish line because these are all, you know, kind of mid range runners. And by the way, you can hear behind me barriers being moved for more emergency vehicles to go through. That's the noise there. Anyway, the first bomb, just a shock. People thought a cannon might be going off for some celebratory reason, but when the second explosion, the second bomb went off, it was unmistakable that something horrible was happening.